In this video, I want to talk about the concepts of the mean and the median lag of a model which has lagged independent variables. So the idea here is, let's say we estimated a model for a company sales, and we found that that was equal to 10 plus, let's say three times the amount of advertising spend that they have today, plus two times the advertising spend in the last period, perhaps last week, plus finally the amount of advertising spend they spent in what, two weeks ago. And finally, we're assuming that we have some sort of error epsilon t here. So a question which you might be interested in asking is, or answering rather, is what is the effect of an increase in advertising spend by one unit today on sales? And I'm just saying a temporary increase in contrast to the example before where we showed that if the level of advertising spend goes from some constant level to some other constant level, which is one unit more than that, then the sales in that particular example is given by, or the change in sales is given by the sum of the coefficients. So the long run impact of sales, so the change in sales long run from this sort of change would be equal to three plus two plus one. In other words, there would be a six unit change in sales overall if the level of advertising went up permanently by one unit. But in this question, I'm asking what happens if advertising today goes up by one unit, so it just goes up by a temporary amount of one unit. So we already know how to answer this question as it turns out. The path which sales follows across time or across lags is actually just given by the lag distribution. The three tells us how much sales goes up instantaneously, so that's in period that the actual advertising increase occurs. After one period, the increase in sales is going to be given by this two, so the effect of sales is slightly lower, so perhaps it looks something like that. And then after two periods, the effect on sales is just one unit, so it falls down to that. And then for all periods after that, including the third period, the effect on sales is zero. So we can see that there is this sort of downward trending effect on sales over time. There are actually some quantities that sometimes it's quite useful to calculate. And they tell us a little bit about the sort of temporal element of how changes in independent variables affect the dependent variable. And one of those things we can calculate is called the mean lag. And the mean lag mathematically is defined as the sum from i equals zero to the maximum number of lags, which in this circumstance is just two. And the sum is summing over i times beta i, and we're dividing through by the sum of i equals zero to, in this case, two of beta i. And notice that the bottom here is just the definition of the long run effect on sales. So kind of what the mean lag is working out is it's working out what is the average a length of time it takes for a, an effect, a change in advertising to have an effect on sales. When's the sort of middle or the sort of mean effect rather than the middle effect on sales. So if we work it out for this particular model, we can do this sum quite easily. The first term is when i equals zero, so that corresponds to this term here. So we don't need to worry about that for the numerator. Then we just get two times one because we're specifying the first lag. And then we get one times two for the second lag because the coefficient here is one and the lag is order two. And we've already worked out what the denominator is. It's just six. So in this circumstance, we find that the mean lag is actually equal to four over six, which is two thirds. And that kind of chimes quite well because it's saying that essentially the time it takes for the model to adjust to changes in advertising occurs somewhere between the first or between the zero lag and the first lag. And it's more towards the first lag. So it's something like that. And that kind of chimes well with the values of the coefficients there. The median lag, by contrast, is a slightly different 
term. And if we call the medium lag, let's say C, it's defined as the lag such that 50% of the adjustment in the dependent variable has been made. So the idea here is that we sum from I equals naught to C, which where C is the thing we're trying to find out, times beta I, and we divide that by the total movement in the dependent variable, which is the sum from I equals naught to two, in this case of beta I, and that has to be equal to a half. Since we already know what this denominator is, we already know what the numerator is. The numerator is just going to be the sum from i equals naught to c of beta i is equal to 6 times a half because when I multiply through by this denominator, this denominator is 6, I get 6 times a half, hence this is equal to 3. And we know that the first coefficient is just equal to 3. So, or in other words, the zeroth component rather than the first lag component, as I said before. So the idea here is that the me median lag is actually zero. And that's because after the, essentially, the effect of, or the instantaneous effect of advertising on sales, then there is, and that causes sales to go up by three units, there are then another three units change in sales, which happen in the next two periods. So we've already moved 50% of the variation in sales instantaneously. So the median lag in this circumstance would just be equal to zero.